Burt Reynolds was one of the top box office draws in the 70s and 80s, but the big screen was not where he set out to be. No, the handsome, charismatic Michigan-born actor wanted to be a football star. Reynolds attended Florida State University on a football scholarship, but an injury derailed his athletic career and put him on the path to Hollywood stardom. At first, Reynolds landed roles on television, including shows like Gunsmoke and Flipper. But it was the 1972 film Deliverance that was his breakthrough role. Who has the ability to survive. He also became a sex symbol and posed nude in Cosmopolitan magazine. He capitalized on his success in the 1974 sports drama The Longest Yard. I'm going to fix it, okay? By 1977, the actor who was known for his signature mustache was riding high with the success of Smokey and the Bandit alongside Sally Field. What's your handle, son? The film became a successful franchise for Reynolds. So did the movie Cannonball Run in 1981. Well, can't you do something? I mean, you're professionals. This is our day off. He kept the laughs coming as the sheriff in The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, co-starring Dolly Parton. Although his film career slowed down by the late 80s, Reynolds found success on television in the 1990 series Evening Shade. It ran for four seasons and earned him an Emmy and a Golden Globe. While his TV career was on a high, his personal life unraveled. He ended his five-year marriage to actress Lonnie Anderson in 1993 and was involved in a messy custody battle over their adopted son, Quentin. By 1996, Reynolds filed for bankruptcy. Jack Horner, filmmaker. But things began to look up for the actor when he landed Paul Thomas Anderson's film, Boogie Nights. The role led to his first Oscar nomination. Though he didn't win, he received critical acclaim in the hockey film, Mystery Alaska, in 1999. I don't want to hear another word about a hockey game. Throughout the 2000s, he kept busy with a number of TV and film roles like the Dukes of Hazard. In a career that took him from the football field to becoming one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, the legendary actor will be remembered for decades of iconic roles in film and television. Still to many, Burt Reynolds will always be the bandit. <laughs>